everyone. This video is specially for people that may be starting nursing school this fall. I have some uh, leftover things that I use from studying, so I want to show you maybe a little heads up of what's inside of something. So I'll have a little series here. So just uh, keep watching if it interests you. So the first thing, and actually the only thing I'm going to show you in this video, and I'll have other videos about other products, um, this one I use for learning, it's left over from school, and it's an expired product, so uh, we can touch it, and I'm just going to throw it away. It was never used on a person, of course, it's for learning purposes. So, a Foley catheter. When you're going into your supply room at your hospital or clinical site, you'll get one of these, and this one is a 16 French, so this is a size that's normally used on a woman. And this one is not, but a catheter kit in general is uh, sterile, so it has a sterile. So when you're opening something that's sterile, you always open away from yourself, and you'd be standing in front of it, of course. So you're opening it away from yourself, opening one side, not reaching over, um, but I am because I'm filming, um, other side, and then toward you. Now this is, it's on a sterile field, so like I just did that, I just contaminated my sterile field, so you can't do that. You need to just open it and leave it on the table or on the bed where you opened it. So again, this is not a video about sterile fields because I'm touching everything just for the purposes of showing you what comes inside of this kit. So, the first thing that you're going to have is a drape. It's plastic on one side and paper on the other. You can see one is shiny and one is not. And then you'll have a set of sterile gloves. And then you're going to put on, you'll have another drape. This one has a hole in it. Ooh, hello! From this point on, kits may look slightly different, but in general they all have the same things that you'll need for the procedure. So this one comes with a packet of iodine, and this is what's left on the top of that tray. So you would take the iodine and pour it over your cotton balls. Some have cotton balls, some have cotton swabs, it doesn't matter, and it's all the same in reality. And you have these tweezers. This is kind of tough. I like the ones better that come with big, um, like big Q-tip looking things that already have iodine on them. So with this one, you would want to clean the patient, use each cotton ball just, just once, one swipe down. Um, so this is kind of cumbersome. This is old though, so maybe the ones in my workplace don't look like this. And then you have a container if you need to get a sample of anything. And then here you have some lubricating jelly, which your patient will be thankful that you've used. And then uh, actually, you can see I took it off already. There's a protective cover. You'll also have in there um, a little syringe with uh, saline. And that's to fill up the little balloon that's a part of the Foley catheter. So in the bottom of that box, you have the catheter itself. And a catheter, as you guys know or will know soon, is a collection device for urine. So you have your bag here. This one holds... 2,000 milliliters. You have your tubing. You always want to uh, check everything. So before you get into your classroom, you'll have a good idea of what a Foley looks like. So that syringe that I showed you before goes into there, and there's a little balloon at the tip of this that fills up with that sterile water, and that is what holds the catheter in place to collect urine. And then when you're going to remove it, you'll put a syringe down here again and pull out that water, and it gently comes out. So all of this that I'm touching right now, you obviously would not be touching that. This is a sterile procedure using sterile technique. So here's your Foley and this is what would be inserted into your patient. 
to drain and collect urine. All right, guys, so that was your brief intro into what a Foley catheter looks like. If you have any questions about that, please just let me know and I'll answer it for you. All right, guys, have a great day. Mwah. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions about nursing or what it's like to be in nursing school or a nurse, just ask. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.